ఫుడ్ సో ద నెక్స్ట్ పాయింట్ ఇస్ సెటింగ్ పారాగ్రాఫ్ స్పేసింగ్ సో పారాగ్రాఫ్ స్పేసింగ్ ఇస్ ద మౌంట్ ఆఫ్ ద స్పేస్ అబవ్ ఆర్ బిలో ద పారాగ్రాఫ్ ఫాలో ద స్టెప్ టు సెట్ ద పారాగ్రాఫ్ స్పేసింగ్ ఫస్ట్ సెలెక్ట్ ద పారాగ్రాఫ్ బిఫోర్ ఆర్ ఆఫ్టర్ విచ్ యూ వాంట్ టు చేంజ్ ద స్పేసింగ్ దెన్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ ద పారాగ్రాఫ్ డైలాగ్ బాక్స్ లాంచర్ ఆన్ ద హోమ్ ట్యాప్ పారాగ్రాఫ్ డైలాగ్ బాక్స్ విల్ ఓపెన్ సెలెక్ట్ ద ఇండెంట్ ఇన్ స్పేసింగ్ ట్యాప్ then enter the required spacing in the before and after spin box under the spacing okay now click on the okay so this will be set to your paragraph okay to set more precise spacing measurement click on the line paragraph spacing button in the paragraph group under the home tab and then select the line spacing option from there and the paragraph dialog box will appear select any specific value for the line spacing and paragraph spacing then click on the okay and it will be set to your paragraph then next is changing line spacing line spacing is the vertical distance between successive line of the text in a document so we can also increase or decrease the line spacing between a paragraph so if you want to do it so select the text click on the paragraph dialog box launcher when you click on it a paragraph dialog box uh, appears then select the indent and spacing tab and then select the required line spacing option under the spacing uh, section then click okay it will be applied to the paragraph in word 2016 uh, it is a similar you can set the paragraph and line spacing from the home tab as in 2016 okay now next is inserting column and column break when you type in a word document by default the text is displayed in a single column style okay or in a paragraph style if you want to format the document in newspaper style that is column styles so word 2016 enables you to do it you can uh, convert it by using the two uh, two method using column break the easiest way to create multi column document is column button on the layout tab in the page setup then select the text click on the columns button a drop down menu displayed the choice of the column you can select the number of column you would like to insert in your document and then if you want to customize the column then click on the more column option in the drop down menu a uh, dialog a column dialog box will appear define the desired setting and then click on the okay it will be applied to your uh, text next is inserting column break if you have already added column to your word document then you might have noticed that some of the co- column are not balanced as you would like to them so one solution to this problem is to add the column break it will force the end of the column and move the text to the beginning of a new column and now place the cursor before the text where you want to insert the column break and then click on the break button on the layout tab and select the column option from the drop down menu uh, you will observe that the text following the column break will be next column